We are live in Langford as it's time to wrap up match week number 18 in the Canadian Premier League, the 77th regular season match of the CPL's fifth season. James Merriman makes two changes to his 4-3-3 on the day, and that is the inclusion of Ayman Salouf to the left wing. Adonijah Reed will start at the number nine as he celebrates his 24th birthday. And Carlos Gonzalez has made five changes to this team today. Ruben Del Campo is in to line up beside Ollie Bassett up top. We're expecting Malcolm Shaw to actually play as a left winger. A double pivot of Zapater in Elias Iliadis, and John Aniel SC is the right winger. Former Pacific man standing by and ready. Goes right up to the post. Great reaction from Gazda after the third time. Walker. Really nice long switch. Cushion on the outside of the foot from Malcolm Shaw. Cycling it back into midfields. Now Ali Bassett all alone and firing. It's a second save this came from Thomas Mayer Jaguer. The play was good, good movement, nice little layoff to Bassett. That's where you want to get Ali Bassett in and around those areas. How did he escape? Not the first time hit. Falls for Young a second time, sliding a sing. Salouf says goodbye to Carl Remax. Moves to the middle. Inside for Reed. Gonna escape again. Reed. It's Adonijah Reed. Has to wheel around to see. Putting his feet in harm's way. Young. To Saint. Thinking about and taking the shot. All into the Lakeside Boys supporter section and off frame. Quite the five minute spell though for Adonijah Reed in his Pacific FC. Yeah, he's been a bit of a handful, hasn't he? This is definitely a very popular venue, Starlight Stadium here. It's not just Pacific that call this place home, but we can use it quite a bit too. Broken play and an opportunity for Bassett back the other way, dancing around. Oh, and Bassett! A solo effort! That has become oh, so familiar! As Alvin scores goal. once again in this fixture, the fourth time in the last three meetings he has found target and beats now the Pacific keeper. You fall asleep on him for even one moment. And the man who currently is the most valuable player and Players Player of the Year continues an impressive continuation. Yeah, just a bad, bad touch by Aparicio. He's trying to bring it down. Not really on it. Reaction. An impressive touch from Josh Hurd. Through ball looking towards Adonijah Reed. Tim Walker loses his balance. I thought he went down on his own there. I won't lie to you. Referee's come over and has given Adonijah Reed a foul. I am shocked by this one. He's got down on his own. Had nothing to do with Adonijah Reed. Walker delays and finally plays in Bassett. Del Campo trying to join him in the 18 yard box. A shimmy and a shake for Bassett. First time hit rates. Sure. Operating from the left side of the pitch now. Adonijah Reed turns and burns around Singh. Lost it in his feet, and by the time he found it, way too close to the post. He's so explosive. So explosive. That's what we were talking about as well. When you got a player that's like that and has that pace, defenders hate it because you have to be so careful. You can't foul him in and around the box. But he just couldn't get the ball out of his feet. Hurt continued his run. He could have got it out and laid it. Down the lake into the mixer, bounces around a couple of guys, and a foul, quick save and a beauty from Nate Ingham. Emma Dupe now, out wide, it's Kuhlin down to Luke, three purple shirts still in the 18 yard box. Salouf resets it, and Tim Walker is back, and he's made a defensive effort on one and a half legs. Loses that 
but tear cleanly. Zapatero's very, very lucky here. He just gets caught ball watching. Salouf delaying. Dominic joins the rush. Back of his head and sent straight up in the air. Pacific doing a really good job of hemming Atletico Auto in their defensive half. Mauricio gets stuck in with Verhoeven. Side pass for Donnelly from Salouf. Kulik Donnelly gets it across. Hart loses it and speaks. And Aiden falls on a loose ball. They're building and asking tons of questions. It's Donnelly again, Jimmy, with a really dangerous cross. What a ball this is. Look, gets his head up. from Ingham. And you would expect Reed to score from there with a wide open goal. There is Hurdy and Garner working together at Barisio and Marks. At no time, hey, hey, hey. could have used the touch to settle it down. Gastov just has to boot it. Find someone in purple. Down to Luke, can't find target, and at long last, it's full time. Vamos, says Carlos Gonzalez, as Atletico Ottawa move back into a playoff position off the eighth goal of the season from Oliver Bassett.